Greetings, family. It's Empress D here. I hope everybody's doing well. I do because because it's it's there's a lot of forces out there that are um, you know trying to make sure that we're not doing well. So so we have to kind of fight against that grain to do well at this time, right, family? So I. I I do, I hope everybody's doing well and I send everybody positive, loving energy. I do. Um, and I hope everybody's taking care of themselves and getting out in nature. It's important. You know, look how beautiful it is out here. We're, we're transitioning from summer to fall and, and I feel it. You've got to wear a sweater, but it's okay and it's nice and, you know, it's refreshing and it's, you know, we, we, can't, we got to take advantage, family because um, the simple act of just getting outside and, and taking in the good ass prana, as, as Ralph Smart says, you know, does something for us. It, it does something for us. Um, so I hope people are doing that, okay? Especially when we're facing challenges. You need to, especially as a way to cope, right? You know, sometimes we don't know what to do. We're facing something that, you know, mental, you know, health issues or, or a lot of stress even physical challenges. One way to help help heal yourself is just to, to commit to coming out every day, just for a few minutes, maybe even 30 minutes every day, just for a walk or or to sit and relax in, in a tree area or grass area around green, okay? That love frequency, that love color, that love chakra color, that heart chakra color, um, that green greenery right look what's around me like I'm, I'm not in a nature space per se but i am around greenery and it's just so nice it's good for the soul right um today i wanted to tackle the topic of anxiety now right now with with what's happening um on the on the planet a lot of people are, are have heightened anxiety you know in the work that i do and and just in speaking to people, because a lot of people feel comfortable coming to speak to me, um, people are, are, are really struggling with anxiety. And anxiety is essentially worry about what's to come, right? Um, when we're anxious, we're not anxious about the present moment. We're anxious about what can happen or what could happen. And when we really think about it, we're worrying about something that hasn't happened. So. It, it, and and oftentimes what we're worrying about doesn't happen so that was wasted energy wasted worry wasted time being in a lower vibrational frequency in a lower vibrational state right because anxiety is not a, a higher vibrational frequency or higher vibrational emotion it's not right it brings us down it makes us vibrate lower and we want to look, vibrate at the love frequency and higher family for the majority of time because then that's what's makes us feel good and happy okay so we have to take tackle anxiety and how do we do it we, we we tackle anxiety by living in the now by focusing on what you can do now because what we do now creates our tomorrow right and so if we take deliberate action to do things that are, are going to serve us um, we can really eliminate anxiety and worry because we are essentially creating our future and so there's nothing to be worried about worried about right um anxiety isn't good we have to minimize and eliminate it from our lives we can't spend time worrying about what's to come because it's 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 a waste because what is to come hasn't happened yet and it may not happen so to spend time uh, fretting about it and, 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 and being low about it and, and, and sad and anxious and stressed about it, it is not serving, right? It's not serving. So what I encourage and employ, employ and implore everyone to do is to focus on your daily actions because your daily actions are going to create your future, okay? So if you are in control of your now, you are in control of your future and you're in control of, of what is to come, right? I don't think we give enough credence to the power that we have as, as human beings to create our reality. Um, for myself, I've experienced it. I've experienced just daily, just committing to myself and saying, okay, you know what, I'm gonna do this daily and, and actually just doing it. 
and then and then you know along my journey after a time maybe after a period of maybe six months i look back and i say hey i've been doing this thing consistently and and my life has changed as a result for the better right and it's such a wonderful thing to acknowledge and see and then it drives you to do more and more and more so 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 family i i just I just encourage everybody to create a list of things that they can do for themselves every day that are going to, that is going to benefit themselves in the future. So so doing something today that your future self is going to thank yourself for is such an empowering thing. And it, and it's something that you can do to help reduce anxiety because once you recognize that you're in control of your existence um by by acting by your actions your thoughts and your actions on a daily basis it's such a powerful thing to recognize because ultimately nothing else is in control but you right anyway family that's what's up try not to be anxious ways to get rid of anxiety is to come out in a nice green space right every day um also taking time out to meditate really it, it doesn't take that long and i know i say it and i press i must sound like a broken record but meditating changes your brain chemistry. And family, it doesn't have to be a monstrous amount of time that you meditate. Start with five minutes, five minutes a day. That's it. You know, that five minutes a day can imp impact your life so amazingly. I shouldn't say can, it will. It will. Um, and you'll see, you just have to do it. Um, well, how else do you reduce anxiety? Exercising, you know? Um, basically doing things that reduce your stress that helps to reduce anxiety too right and and for me obviously nature does that um listening to music being with loved ones having a conversation reading taking in information all of these things for me help to reduce anxiety and stress everybody has their own is going to have their own um recipe right because we're all individuals and and what makes everybody tick is different right so that's part of the journey is figuring out what works for you right family so i hope you guys are not anxious i hope people are not suffering from anxiety but i but i know the reality is that is that we are um but 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 we don't have to we don't have to and we can reduce it and we can minimize the amount of anxiety we experience okay family so again, I really am grateful for those that take the time to listen to this message. And honestly, I, I do, I love and I value each and every one of you. And I send everybody positive healing energy, especially those that are suffering from anxiety, okay? Let's not worry about what's to come because what's to come may not even be what's to come. And in fact, we can shape our reality by deliberate action every day, okay? So I love and I value each and every one of you. One love.